Hello everyone, welcome back to Princess of the Sims 2. I'm very excited to be here today with you all. It is a weekend for me as I'm playing The Sims and recording this and so good vibes all around. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. Um, we are with Teresa again. I hope you remember her from my Create Some Townies With Me video for Deanwood. We are with Teresa Q and I want to show you guys a couple of things. Some must-have mods for your game. I know if you're coming from the Sims 4 world, a lot of people are coming from the Sims 4. I gave up on the Sims 4 a long time ago. Um, I find that with the Sims 4, I just need so many mods to make it fun. The gameplay sucks and there isn't a lot of city building opportunities. I'm really big on city building. Speaking of city building, I did indeed build this lot that we're about to look at and be in for a little while. And I built all the lots around it as well. So these are the Freedom uh, units freedom apartments this used to be a rundown apartment um, and of course thankfully due to our city planners and if you want to learn more about our city planners at the ministry office of Deanwood please go ahead and look at the episode because I went through their work day and having active careers in the sims so we are with the lovely Tyra here and I want to show you all the mods that you should have and really there are only two main ones that I'm gonna talk about that replace the MC command center um, I think that this is important because when you come into Sims, you do feel overwhelmed. Like, how do I change my Sims name? How do I, you know, edit her outfits on the spot without going to the clothing store? How do I, you know, manage her money? I want to show you how to do that with two mods. The first thing I want to show you guys is the Monique's computer. You need the Monique's computer. And if you have apartment life, I think that's when you can have it or you need a certain edition of it. I'll leave all the links below so you can definitely make sure you know which expansion pack do you have. If you have the Ultimate Collection or if you have your Games uh, Mr. DJ edition of The Sims, Games for the World edition for The Sims, that means you have all the expansion packs. If you have CDs that you're playing The Sims 2 on, then you definitely need to, um, you know, look like which expansion packs do you have left? Or do you have, yeah, which expansion packs do you have, not have left, sorry. So this is it right here, the Monique, Monique Hacked computer. This comes with a lot of recolors. And so this is a Monique hacked computer right here, lovely. But then this is also a Monique hacked computer, right? So they come in so many different renditions, which is really nice because if you have like a sim in like a, a modern fashion office, then they'd probably have like an IMAX and you could use it. Or if you have a sim who's like, you know, a student with a laptop, then you can use it. So these are Monique computers. Now, we're gonna have Teresa come and sit down and I'll show you how it works. So essentially, the computer is basically going to allow you to do all the things that MC Command Center would allow you to do. Let's start with this. You click on it, you can chat, you can email, find a job, play games like normal computers allow you to do. You can write, find your own place, cool. You can also express delivery. You can order pizza or Chinese food. You can study badges. So if your sim wants to learn sales without having to practice on the cash register, you can let them study that. If your sim wants to learn fishing, you can get them to study that from the computer. Flower arranging, toy making, because you know when you go into buy mode and you go under hobbies, you're able to then see all of these, um, what would I call them, like stand, like machines? Not machines, but what, what do they call them, a stand? A, a workstation, yeah, that's what these are called, okay? So you're able to have this. So this is the flower arranging workstation. So if Teresa was to come here, she could make one daisy bouquet. Let's have her go ahead and make a daisy bouquet. So this would be the way that Teresa would have to learn how to handle and make and arrange flowers by using the daisy bouquet. And so this kind of gets redundant a bit because if you want your sim to learn a skill, they have to spend money on making the flowers and then spend a lot of time making the flowers, right? So here she is going ahead and making the flower arrangement. And this is great, don't get me wrong. This is beautiful. But if you go to the computer, you go to study badges, she can also just learn it here. See right now she has seven points because she's actually gaining the skills from doing it. So you're able to see how many points she has. Now she has 11 points. So she could do it here, but remember we paid $32 for the flower. Or she could do it here on the computer. Study badge, flower arrangement and she finished her first bouquet. Aw, thank you, Teresa. So let's help Teresa sit back down. She made these lovely flowers, so I just put them beside her because I think it's super cute. 
um, and so she can make flowers and study them through both means she can do it through the actual workstation or she can do it on the computer so that's another benefit of the Moni cat computer what else after studying badges you see it says shop online so you can buy clothing everyday formal all the options you can do electronic gadgets you can also change your sims outfit so make them change into whatever um you want them to wear or plan their outfit as well there's a gypsy option remember if that gypsy lady comes to your door you can buy a love potion for her well now you don't need to wait for her to come to your door so you can still buy all the potions the plant sim potion um to reverse your plant sims if they've accidentally turned into one you can buy a cologne here you can buy the love potion you can do all that through ordering or shopping online you can buy collar for your pet you can buy video games so instead of going to the store to um use that big like kiosk stand and have to purchase a video game or a magazine your sim can just use the computer here go on ebay go on eb games maxis.com wherever you buy video games and then they can select them so she can buy sims 4 or she can buy sorry sim city 4 or the sims busting out i used to love the sims busting out back in the day all right what else was shop online yeah produce fish souvenirs maps jewelry instead of uh traveling you can actually just buy the souvenirs online so you can basically do everything on the online option also career so in sims 2 i know it's frustrating when you want your sim to have a certain job and then you check the newspaper and the job is not there on the posting or you check the computer and the job is not there you can bypass all of that by just hitting career select a job and then select which career you'd like your sim to be in like that that's it you don't have to wait until there's a certain day you can quit your job you can retire you can unlock career rewards rewards sorry you can do all the things okay now you can search for a roommate you can play video games order photos go on vacation uh school so the school tab is probably one you're going to use very often why can't i talk today it's going to be one you're going to use very often because you're going to study skills from here. Isn't it realistic that instead of always using the bookcase, your sims, maybe your teenage sims after school can go to the library or at school, can go to the computer lab and they can just go ahead and hit school and then study skills and then pick a skill to study. They can study body, charisma, mechanical, cooking. Let's have her study cooking. And so all she's going to do is open, open the Google look up some cooking recipes and start studying cooking and you can see that her skill set is going up people are ringing the bell but we are busy okay and so that's basically what your sims can do with study skills so don't be put off by school thinking oh it's only for children sims no all of your sims can can do this if you play active careers like how i did with the ministry episode if you haven't seen that go ahead and watch it um you can see there that um a lot of my sims are writing articles so let's talk about work at home all you gotta do is click work at home and then you have a bunch of articles to pick so you can do stories which will let you gain a creativity skill okay so she gained a cooking point you can see that stories which will let you gain a creativity skill news and editorial will let you gain a logic skill food and beverages cooking and so on and so on and so on so here the difference is that they're gaining skills they're gonna gain creativity for instance however they're making money because they're writing articles and so i'll get her to stop studying cooking instead she can work work at home and write an article that's a cooking article when she has finished the article she will earn some money and so now you can see she's writing her article so you can see as she's writing her article here that it says writing article status 25% completed. And so you can see, okay, now she's 25% through and then she'll be able to eventually make some money out of her article. Um, and usually they make about 150, 200 bucks. So if you want your sim to be a freelance writer, they can spend their morning writing. If you want your sim to be a therapist, they can see sims throughout the day at their home. And then when they're done seeing their clients, they'll go work at home and maybe click, um, I don't know, any skill. You could do creativity or you could do charisma and then just have them write an article to make money, right? Okay. Um, the next piece I want to show you is Bank Online, and this is where your sims can really 
bank online. <laughs> they can take out a loan and you can also decide the um, paying back of the loan as well. So they can take out a loan here. I'll let her take out a $500 loan. I'm sorry that it's like thunderstorming. So uh, Teresa has successfully added $500 to the bank account with a $500 loan. And then if I bank online, I can pay my loan $500. And I now subtracted 500 from my household total, and I have zero dollars in my bank account. This is great if you have Sims that are sharing a household a household fund. Every time my Sim comes home from work, if she makes 500 dollars, I can go to Bank Online, deposit 500 to make sure that in the household funds, her money is not getting mixed up with, let's say, her roommate's money or her sister's money. Now, if I go to Bank Online, I can check money bank accounts and you can see my account has 500 bucks and the great thing about this is when you put money in here um the bank invests it so you get like a little bit of a return it could be 12 dollars, it could be a hundred dollars whatever the case is so that's super dope if you have your money in your bank account and you want to transfer it to your household funds you would just withdraw 500 bucks and then it'll come back right here to this household fund so that went from 7200 to 7700 so all of this like financial stuff and all the other things, it's all here on the Monix computer. So this is why you need this, uh, this item. It's very helpful and all the same options come on this as well. So you need her main mesh with all her package files and then you can also download the recolors of the Monix computer that give us the Mac option and the laptop option. All right. And so the next really important piece of CC or mod that you need in your Sims, you need this one. This is the Sim Blender and it's this plant right here. And Teresa is giving us a peace sign because she's a cutie, but it's this plant right here. Okay. This is the Sim Blender. It's in MISC options. This is like one of the most important pieces of CC slash mod that I have in my game. You can click on it and you can essentially do everything. The key things that I do are, when you start a household, like for instance, Teresa's new to this apartment lot and I'm now playing her, when she has a want or fear, I can only lock in one thing. But I just don't think that's realistic. Like you can see I'm trying to lock in, she wants to, to gain a cleaning skill point, but then she also wants to get a bronze in flower arranging now that I've given her a little taste of what's that, what that's like. But I can't click both. What you can do with the Sim Blender, and there's so much you can do with it, so like download it and explore for sure wants add a want lock and so now i'm able to lock in get a bronze and i'm also able to lock in get a cleaning point and you can add another lock and another lock because isn't it more realistic that your sims can want for more than one thing like my sim should be able to want to flirt and gain skill points at the same time so wants add a want lock you can also re-roll their wants you can re-roll their lifetime wish you can remove extra slots Let's add a fear slot. The want slots are four, the fear slots are three. Let's add a fear slot then. Boom, now you have four fears, which to me is a lot of fears. <laughs> it's a lot, so I probably wouldn't do four because it's a lot for me to even manage the three. So if I wanna remove the extra slots, I just remove them. So that's something really cool that you can do with this in Blender. Your traits for Teresa, you can pick her gender preference, her hobbies, her badges, her zodiac sign, and her interests. Remember, in The Sims, all of my Sims have one true hobby. And so if we go to hobbies, we can see the one hobby and we can select what her one hobby is. The hobby that brings her the most joy and ups her fun skill. Nonetheless, you can select this for your Sims by going to traits, picking who the Sim is, and then hobbies, the one hobby, and then selecting that as well. You can also randomize it. If you just kind of want to see what will land. You can also randomize their skill points or increase their skill points. So that's a great one if you have a sim who's like in need of a promotion or something and you just really want them to like gain a skill. Like just super fast. Just give them one more charisma. Boom. That's all you got to do. That's all. Um, relationships. If you want to uh, alter your sim's relationships with someone, you can set the short-term relationship. You can set the long-term relationship. You can remove something you don't want if they're engaged or if they're enemies or whatever. You can do that here as well. You can set pregnancy, set them to have a baby with whoever, and they will. 
uh, their motives these are their needs so I do this a lot you probably have noticed in my gameplay let's say for instance my sim was at work and I see that her hunger is just it's just getting too low and I have a lot of things planned for her and I don't really want her to go eat right now I would just go to hunger Teresa full boom we're full and we're good and we can move on <laughs> So this is where I do that on the Sim Blender and it's super amazing. Family. You can make someone a townie, a downtowny. You can also set family relationships. So I can make Danielle Lillard, who seems to be on the lot, make her Teresa's spouse, Teresa's cousin, Teresa's aunt, Teresa's sibling. So let's say for instance, like right now I have Teresa here, but later on in the future I create a sister for her and I want her sister to move in, which will be happening. All I'll do is go to create a sim and create any sim I want, move her into this apartment here. You don't have to move her in, that's just my choice. And then I'll go to family and I'll select the sim's name and I'll make sure that she's set as sibling. And then in the family tree, it won't just be Teresa on her lonesome. Where's the family tree at? In the family tree, it won't just be Teresa, but it'll say that she has a sister somewhere. Um, yeah, there's also aspiration. You can set, change, or randomize it, uh, or make it high as well. That's this bar. You know, sometimes this bar gets to orange. You can also change their appearance. So you can change her clothing, give her a tan, give her a sunburn, give her a total makeover as well, including plastic surgery. So this is how you would change your sim. If you've already created the sim and you're like, oh my gosh, I do not like the sim's nose and I wanna change it and I don't know how to do that, you would just give her plastic surgery. When you do hit plastic surgery, I'm gonna make her stop posing for, for a second there. I hope that you all are enjoying the video. Be sure to thumbs up, just a friendly reminder. So when you do click plastic surgery, the create a sim uh, pop up pops up here where you can now change her face template and we can make her look completely different than how she looks and you can do whatever you want with her. And yeah, only thing is it will not change genetics. So it will change how she looks, but if she was to have a kid, it would be based on her original looks, not the changes you make. And I don't know how to bypass that right now, but if I find out, I'll let y'all know. Aging, you can age them up. You can reduce their age, which I use this a lot because I'm not ready for my sims to grow up, y'all. I'm not ready. Some of my sims are like halfway through. I'm like, what? Your children are babies and I love you too much. So I keep making them a day younger. <laughs> I keep pushing them back and pushing them back. This is where you would do that. Okay, so under aging. Um, misc. I don't know. So let's <laughs> skip that one personality you can randomize their personality and the personality is um this stuff here names yes so we're gonna change her name you can change someone's first name and copy a first name to a last name so right now her name is Teresa wild her name is supposed to be Teresa Q the reason why her name was wild is because I created her with a bunch of other townies so they all got that last name so let's say I want to change her name I'll go to names change someone's first name right there Teresa wild right so we click her click accept and we're changing her first name to her last name okay so her last name I want to be Q like this boom so now her name is Q wild I know you're like what the heck you just made her first name and last name messed up you're gonna go to more you're gonna go to names change someone's sorry copy a first name to last name list we have her here Q wild remember we changed her first name to Q and now her name is Q Q, right? We made, we changed her first name to Q and then we changed her first name to her last name. Does that make sense? We changed her first name to Q then we copied her first name to her last name. So now we want her name to be Teresa. All we have to do is just change her first name to Teresa. Q Q, boom. And we're gonna change her first name back to Teresa. Boom, and now her name is Teresa Q. All right, so that's how you would go about doing that with the Sim Blender. Um, also careers, you can set the career similar to the Monique's computer, but also you can set the level. So right now she's level one. If I wanted to make her level 10, I would just do that here as well. Finally, you can teleport Sim. This guy has been laughing for hours. You can teleport Sim. So you gotta teleport, enable the summon menu. So you're enabling the teleport slash summon menu. You can summon any sim in town. You just got to know what their household name is. So we've been playing with the Feliz family. 
Feliz, we can summon in Eric or Tyra, Maureen, the toddler, or Rio, the baby. Let's summon in Tyra. Boom. Tyra appears here, and we'll let them talk and kiki a bit. When you want Syra, Syra, when you want Tyra to go home, you'll go to more, teleport, clear off Tyra. There's also an option to clear off other folks, and to clear off all non-residents, we're just going to clear Tyra up. And she's gone. Okay? So it's more, teleport, summon. Remember, you first have to enable the summon menu. You can also make selectable. We have Lily Doe. Neil Chalmers. If I make Lily Doe selectable, she becomes selectable here. And she's at work right now. But she lives on the lot, apparently. And so I can play her and control her. If I'm done with her and I don't want her to be selectable, make unselectable Lily Doe. So all of that's done in the teleport uh, tab, I guess. So this is why the Sim Blender is just so critical, crucial, and important. And so, I've basically showed you why both the Sim Blender and Monique's computer are like the beginner MC Command Center replacement for The Sims 2. You can do all your modifications, give your Sim a bank account. If you have a bunch of Sims, uh, you know, living in one space, you can definitely go ahead and give them each a bank account. So when they each come home from work, they go on their computer and they deposit the money that they earned that day. And that's amazing because then when it's time to move out, you're not confused like how much money does this sim have? How much money has this sim saved? Instead, you can just be like, okay, well, you have your account. You're good to go. I really, really like that because I often play a lot of adults who are, um, they're adults. Like they're not related to each other, but they live in the same home, like roommates or like dorms, you know, things like that. And I need to track the money and I just, I'm not going to write it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. Also, how cute are the flowers that she made? We love. I had to take them out and put them on the table. All right, so we are at the end of our video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please go ahead and download the Sim Blender and the Monique's computer, and I'll also share links to the recolors. They'll all be on my Pinterest, so just go ahead, click there, and you'll have everything you need, and pop them all in your downloads folder. Um, do you guys want to see more mods? Is this helpful? Is this not helpful? Do you already know this stuff? Let me know. And then also, would you like to see a little uh, let's decorate with me because Teresa just moved into this big old empty apartment and she only has what we've given her here so let me know if that's something and this really nice fridge here oh don't you guys love sims 2 cc it's just so cozy and warm and she has this whole balcony i definitely see her throwing some parties maybe that's what we need to do a little grill moment out here but yeah let me know if that's something you're interested in or not Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Subscribe, thumbs up, take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye.